Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designertechtips.com. Well, we're continuing on from our last video. In our last video we showed you how to create this hover effect on your menu up here. And it's just a simple grow effect for your menu items up there. Today we're going to show you how to add a little animated bar underneath those. So if we hover over now, you've got that little bar that rolls up and appears there. Again, this is pretty easy to do. We're going to do a bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. I'm actually going to start from where we left off yesterday. And the code for both of these will be down below. If you want to learn how to do this one, have a look at the previous video and I'll put that link down below the video. Or if you just want to cut and paste the code into your own site, that'll work too. Okay, so let's go to our dashboard. So we're going to do this in the customizer today. And once you're in the dashboard, you want to go down to appearance and customize. And you can also write your code in theme options right down at the bottom of the page. It's a custom CSS block and it's the same thing but I'm going to use the customizer so we can actually see what's going on in real time. I've got my customizer open. Once you get your customizer, go down to the bottom to the additional CSS panel. And this is where we're going to write our CSS. Here's the CSS that we wrote yesterday. I'll leave that there. And all we're going to do is append some more to it today to create the effect that we want. So let's inspect our little elements here. We've got what we want going there. So I'm going to right click, hit inspect. I'm using Google Chrome. Most browsers have this inspector tool, uh, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. Okay, so there's our menu item. If I just roll down here, it's top menu A, because we're in the top menu. This is the top menu. And we're working on the little anchor tags, which are our links right there. So the first thing I want to do really is give it a fixed height so it shortens up. Because if I put a border on the bottom right now, it'll be right down the bottom. So, well, I guess we can put that there so you can see what's going on. So I'll say border dash bottom. Let's make it two picks. We'll make it solid. And as you can see, it's appeared up there. I'll just leave that. I'm going to steal this color from up here that we've used for our link right here. So I'm just left clicking on this to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to paste it after the solid in the border here. Again, I'm just right left clicking to highlight. Control V to paste it in there. Okay, now we've got that little blue color right there. Okay, next thing I want to do is I, I don't want that way down there. I want it sort of halfway between the bottom and where the actual link is itself. And of course, I only want it on hover. It's showing it on the whole thing. But when we copy it over, we'll change that in a minute. So let's give it a fixed height. So let's say height, colon. I'm going to say about 30 picks. There we go. That's shortened that up. I want to give it a bit of a margin on the bottom too. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a margin, margin on the bottom. I'll make that say 16 pixels. As you can see, that pushed that little line down that had appeared there. So you can't see it. And we got our line. I think I'll probably tighten that up even a bit more. So still a bit too much space there. I want to give it a fixed amount of padding on the bottom and pull our line up. So to do that, I may have to enforce it with the important. Don't like to use the important, but sometimes you have to. So let's say padding dash bottom let's say 25 picks obviously you adjust these however it's it's going to work for you as you can see that's crossed that out so we need to use the important to overwrite a style there because this has obviously got a fixed padding set for it so just after the x of the picks there i'm going to make a gap exclamation mark important as you can see that's now shortened that up nicely and that little lines appeared there so let's put it up the margin and what you can do with these numeric values if you just select them you can roll up and down with your mouse wheel to make it bigger or smaller so i'm going to roll upwards and you see that little line moving down just want to put it on the bottom if i put it too far 
we've got 23 now it'll make that actually grow and I don't want it to grow so let's take that back to 23 if I take it to 22 21 you can just see it appearing there like I said I just want it to be right at the bottom without growing so that's 23 seems to work okay so I'm fairly happy with that I mean obviously if you want that line a little broader you can make it three picks you might have to readjust the little padding by one pixel no, I think I like the two better, but of course that's entirely up to you. So let's make that two again. All right, well, I'm happy with that. But like I say, I don't want to see it all the time there. I just want to see it when we hover over. So I'm going to copy all of our new entries right here from the last semicolon there of the important to the border bottom, which is where we started. So I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to shut up my inspector here and I'm simply going to paste it after our last en entry that we did yesterday and like I say all this code will be down below use what you need to use if you just want the underlying effect itself just get rid of these here so I pasted that in there let's just tidy that up a little bit there we go so this really should only happen on the hover state now and because we haven't refreshed the page, you're still seeing it there. But let's publish. Okay, so we've got our effect working, but our little menus or our top bar there is sort of growing and shrinking, and we don't want that. So let's inspect this top bar here. So it's ET top nav, you see the green part dictating how high it is let's go down here's ET top nav let's give it a fixed height so I'll just say height 90 picks I'm guessing maybe a little too much a little too short yeah you can see that little line there so it's slightly too short so again I'm just gonna select it roll over it with my mouse and take it up just a little bit until that line it's right on the bottom I don't want to make it grow that's making it grow shrinking so let's see 92 93 seems to work there so again I'm going to copy this control C we go over close up the inspector go over and I'm going to make a new line here paste that in there don't need the float in there because we didn't write that so we can just delete that now when we roll over that's great our header bar is staying exactly the same height and we got our little hover effect and there we have it let's publish our changes here and we'll go to the site refresh the page just so we know we're looking at the latest version and there we have it we've got that nice little animated line coming up So like I say, if you just want the animation and the line, use this bit of code. If you want the scale and everything we did yesterday, add this bit of code too. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.